Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you again for joining me. Today I'm so excited because I have the new Too Faced Peach line here with me. I picked up some of their products. I've been putting them to the test. For those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. And I do work outside a lot. I work on the beach. So I do definitely put these products to the test. So let's go ahead and jump right into this video. The first thing I picked up was a Just Peachy Matte. These are the eyeshadows and they're absolutely stunning. Look at the case, it's beautiful. I'm sure you've seen it. It has a two little peaches right here to open it up. And then you get this gorgeous mirror with all these beautiful shades. Now, I have them swatched right here. They're beautiful, they're delicious. They smell really good. They smell like a sweet peach and fig. The scent's not super strong like some of the other palettes, but hey, whatever, it's super cute. Here is the swatches. They swatch beautifully. I did use them yesterday. They're very blendable. They stay on. I don't find them to have a lot of kickback or to be very patchy or anything like that. So I'm really loving this. The next thing I picked up was the Peach Blur. This is a translucent smoothing finishing powder. And I have to say that I feel like all this is true. This is a blurring powder. It's absolutely beautiful. This is what it looks like. You open it up, you get this giant peach, and the color is kind of peachy, but it doesn't alter the color of your face or your foundation or anything like that. It just kind of gives that blurring effect. And I've been using it a few times. I used it on some of my clients yesterday, and I find this to be true to you know the claim that it blurs. So. A plus for that, love it. The next thing I picked up was the Sweetie Pie Radiant Matte Powder, or not powder, bronzer. You know, I can't freaking see. Anyway, this is what it looks like. It's absolutely adorable. I do have trouble opening this up. I always have to find tweezers or something. I don't know what it is, but I can't open this thing up. Look, I'm gonna drop it. I had it open and then for some reason I closed it up. So I'm having trouble opening it. Anyway, you open it up and then, I always say anyway, you open it up and you get this really nice, it looks like a pie and there's three colors in there and it's really nice because some people say that it gives you kind of like a nice little glow and then it gives you a little bit of touch of bronze and a little bit of touch of blush. But I feel like if you're medium, like I'm actually wearing the foundation, we'll get into that, but I'm a little lighter. I got the wrong color because I ordered it and I should never order foundation. But it's, it, I feel like if you're medium, it's not really going to be a color for you, medium and darker. Because when I apply it, I have to keep applying it on my face to get a color. I did use it on my client yesterday that's a lot lighter. She's very pale and it looked absolutely beautiful on her. So I really like it, but it's not one that I'm going to be reaching out for a lot. All right, the next thing I got was the foundation. Or is the foundation, or the foundation. Okay, so I got the foundation. This is a Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation infused with peach and sweet fig. It smells just like it. This is the one that really smells like it's delicious. And then it's oil-free, 14-hour wear, oil controlling, and photo friendly. Now, this foundation stays on forever. I love the, the packaging and it's, you know, it's travel friendly, so I will be traveling with this one. I got the natural beige, but I feel like it's a little bit too, it's a lot light for me, so I'm gonna have to exchange it for a different color. So um, I really like it, it did stay on all day long. I'm really oily, so I didn't feel like I got super oily or anything like that. I don't feel like it's, I mean, it says it's matte, but when you put it on, it kind of leaves like a satin lean look. It doesn't feel like its face is like sucking up or anything like that. Some foundations, when I feel they're oil controlling, they kind of make my face a little tight, but not in an uncomfortable way. I could just see the difference. And you know, it's just a great foundation. I really like it a lot. The next thing I got was the mattifying setting spray. I'm obsessed with setting sprays. I have like a boatload of them. I don't know what is wrong with me. It's not like I use every single one of them. I'll use this one for a little bit and then, well maybe I guess I kind of do. I'm looking at them right now. I'm like, there's like 12 of them over there. Anyway, it is great. I love it. These two together are great great it does keep your face really nice and matte i mean i worked for what 10 hours yesterday my face got just a little bit shiny not much i mean i'm sure this is great without this but together they're absolutely wonderful i love them i did use this before i put this on i actually sprayed my face later in the day so this pretty much kept me oil controlled you know for the most part but when i added this 
it just kept everything really nice and right. So I love these together. And this has a real, it, I love the size. I love the packaging. And it has a really nice little mist. Oh my God, it smells so delicious. I was spraying it on everybody yesterday. So I really enjoy this. So like I said, I am wearing the foundation. I'm going to go ahead and put the blurring, um, little powder on so that you could see what it looks like. It's probably going to make me a little bit more lighter, but it does keep me matte. I mean, I used all the products together and I was just loving them. It smells pretty. All right. So as you can see, it does kind of give you like a little blurring effect. I mean, my pores don't seem to be screaming or anything like that. For some reason, I look older today. It's because I've been stressing out over that freaking hurricane. Mm. All right. So the next thing I'm going to try is the Sweetie Pie, which I want to love this, but I don't. I think I just love the packaging more because it doesn't do anything for me. So I'm going to show you. And the thing is, since I'm trying to get a color out of it, I feel like I'm getting too powdery because I'm trying between this and this, I'm starting to get a little bit too powdery, especially the, you know, the part that this is mattifying, then I feel like it sucked the oil out of me. So that's the only problem I'm having with this. I don't feel like it's doing anything. I'm trying to add a ton of powder to get color. And I feel like I'm just starting to look older. Like my face is starting to get a little crepier. See, so I'm at, look how much I'm going in there with. And I just am not really seeing, and I'm really light-handed. I mean, I'm super light-handed because I like to apply things little by little. I'm not one of those that goes in with a ton of color. I like to do it little by little. And let me tell you, I'm really digging in there and I'm barely seeing a color. So I don't know. So it's not killing me, just gotta put it away. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some eyeshadows. All right, so the, oh, by the way, this is one of my favorite brushes. You know I love the Delian brushes. This is number 960, in love with it. And like I said, I'm not one of those that's a rule with brushes, like I have to use this for this. I just kind of do whatever. Whatever. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my 785, and I'm going to go into, uh, which one am I gonna go into? Peach Butter, which is this color right here. I'm gonna apply that on my entire eyelid. It's kind of killing me because there's not a shimmer in this, but it does say matte, but I always love a shimmer for my brow bone. I'm not one of those to use mattes because I just feel, especially if you're like older, if you use a little bit of a shimmer, it just makes you look really nice and youthful. All right, the next one I'm gonna go in is which peach tea, which is this color right here. Okay, and I'm just gonna apply that on my eyelid. The balls of my eyelids, but I'm not gonna go all the way. As you can see, this is like, I mean, it might, you might not be able to tell because I'm light and the lights are kind of bright. I don't know if you can see that color. I know, I have to start doing stuff with like color, color. Make sure to check out my Instagram because even though I'm not doing like much fashion -y stuff on my channel yet, but on my Instagram, you'll see that I do a lot of editorials. So all those, you know, crazy hair. I also do hair, I'm not a hairstylist, but I style hair for models. And if you check out my Instagram, you'll see all the stuff that I, you know, that I do and, you know, I, I always use all my new products and stuff like that. And I also put down what I use on the description box in the bottom. All right, so I'm just gonna apply it all over my eyelid. All right, so the next color I'm gonna go in there is with Peach Cobbler, this color right here. And I did this yesterday on one of my clients. Of course, she was only, what? She has 15. So if you go on my Instagram, you'll see her. She's, she has all the, it's the last picture that I posted and I use this palette and she looked beautiful. So what I did to her, I'm gonna do to myself, except I'm not 15. That's what we do to these 15 year olds. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my, I have an eyelash on my, <laughs> my brush. I'm going to leave it there. 772. 
I'm gonna go in with peach cobbler. Yeah, right here. I'm gonna go underneath my lash line. My bully is out the door again. So you can see how much pigment there's in here. They're just so freaking blendable. I love this palette. And I'm gonna exaggerate it a little bit just like I did with my girl yesterday. All right, now I'm gonna go in with, um, what is that, Peach Punch, this color right here. And I'm gonna go in with the crown brush that doesn't have a number, huh? Of course. And I'm gonna go right in here. I'm just gonna blend that all over. Cause you know, I like everything just really nice and smoky. Now my Stella's cleaning my Nina's eyes. I could hear it. So, we're awaiting Miss Irma. Hopefully she doesn't do any damage. Please pray for us. All right. Now I'm going to go in, using the same brush, I'm gonna go in with Peach Sangria, this color right here. And I'm just gonna go right over all those layers. I love layering colors. Of course, it's not gonna look the same one because I can't freaking see. All right, so I'm just gonna dab that color all over. On myself, I like to use my finger. I don't use my finger on my clients, but I do on myself. Okay, I'm gonna go on the other side. Just smoke it out with my finger. Sorry, my nose are crazy. I've not done them yet. Just blend that. And I'm just taking the rest of it and just kind of going all the way up to my brow bone. Just the soft, smoky part. Like I don't have like a ton of just bringing out whatever's right here left over, just going all the way up to the top. So it's not super crazy. Just blend it in all again. Oh my God, it's killing me that, because on my client yesterday, I did put a little bit of a shimmer. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with my 772 again. I'm gonna put a little bit of a mist on there so I drop everything just to intensify that color a little bit more because it feels like you can't really see what I'm doing because of the lights. I'm gonna drag that color down. Ah! And I want to kind of have that going out a little bit. I'm going in with my 788, just blending it. I'm going past my eyebrow a little bit just to have a little bit of that color smoked out. All right. Now I'm gonna go in with my Delim 766, that little angle brush, and I'm gonna go into hot chocolate. And you know what, you could also see this look on my Instagram Live. Okay, now I'm just gonna go with the, inner, the outer corners right here. And then I'm just gonna kinda go in towards the middle, focusing mainly on the outer corner of my eye. Gonna blend. So 
Same thing right here. It's much easier when I'm doing this on other people than I'm doing it on myself. Blend. All right, and then I'm gonna go in with my little brush again, the 772. I'm gonna go right in there the, toward the outer corner of my eye. Okay. All right, and then I'm gonna get my 778 again and just blend everything. All those layers just kind of marry together. I'm dying to put a shimmer, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Am I going to do it? No, no. Yes. No. No. I'm going to stick with the Too Faced. All right. Now I'm going to bronze up my face a little bit because I feel like I'm a little bit way too pale. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Wet n Wild bronzer. If you have not tried this, this is a definitely a must because it's like $5 and it is delicious. I mean, it doesn't smell delicious, but... I'm going to darken myself up a little bit because I'm way too pale. That's what I did to her. Just bronze her up a little. And you know that I just like everything soft. I don't like to make it look... Well, on my models, I do. On my models, I carve them out a little bit more. But... On myself, I just like everything blown out. And I'm just kind of warming my face up a little bit. And with this, you have to be careful because you could make yourself look crazy really fast. Then I get my neck. Okay, now, what else? Okay, I have, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm, okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Lorac. I didn't get any of the lipsticks. because I don't like dry matte lipsticks. And I don't like to use them on my clients. All right, now I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna use some shimmer, I got it, sorry. All right, I'm gonna go in with my Master Chrome by Maybelline. Favorite, I'm gonna go with my favorite, no, actually I'm not gonna go with my favorite brush. I'm gonna go with this one, Sonia Kashuk. You know, I'm crazy with the highlighter today. Okay, I have to. I keep saying I'm not going to, but I'm going to. All right, so I'm also going to get this. I'm going to dab my finger in there, and I'm going to apply it in the balls of the eyes right here. Just to give it a little bit of a shimmer. Because I would never... Unless I'm doing like corporate people, you know, business people, stuff like that, I would never not do a shimmer on somebody's face. Oh, and this one photographer, she hates it. <laughs> but other than that, I will always add a shimmer. And then I just kind of bring it up. Now I'm going to put glue to my lashes. God help us because you know... Putting lashes on is a chore for me. I think I've put way too much glue. And these are my pure lashes. They're so freaking pretty. Let's see, which ones are these? These are, and all their lashes are gorgeous. These are the 3D ones in Diva. I did my hair today, which is a miracle. Because I don't like to do my hair. It's a hot mess. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and apply these. They were falling earlier. Oh my God, I put them on. Can't believe it. Now, for my fashion girl that I did, I did usually when I do fashion, I 
don't do lashes on the girls at all. I mean, you know that when you look at fashion magazines, unless you're looking at makeup ads, you don't put lashes on them. But on my glamour girls, because there is a difference between glamour, makeup, fashion, wedding, all that stuff, I do, I do lashes on all my glamour girls. So, that's what it looks like. I hope my lashes don't look crazy. That's what it looks like. Please check it out on my Instagram. The girl's hair is like flying. It's all white and milky and look, I'm crazy. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, wait a minute, I forgot to do this. My lash is falling. Oh, is that falling and then actually put it on? I can't see. All right, I'm gonna spray this stuff. Oh my gosh, it smells so freaking good. <clears throat> It went in my mouth. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please check out my Instagram so that you can see some of the crazy stuff that I do. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.